All right, so you see I have GIMP open here. I have my image opened already by going to File, Open to find it. And you're going to learn only, I think only one new tool today, which is the Rotate tool. I don't think we used that last time. If I hover over it, you can see it says Shift R. That is the keyboard shortcut. So as you're kind of going through, you're going to be toggling between the Rotate tool and the Scale tool, which is Shift T. So if you get confident, you can go Shift T, Shift R to switch back and forth between the two tools. It ends up being a lot quicker in the long run if you kind of start to learn those and use those. So um, you're also going to end up using the free select tool, which is that little lasso up here. You're going to use the scale tool um, and the move tool today. So we're also going to learn a new thing with our layer menu, our layer palette. The first thing that I want you to do though is go ahead and um, make sure that it has transparency. So to do that, go to layer, transparency, and if this option is available, add alpha channel, then click that. So I know some of you guys had the issue last time of deleting something and instead of it being transparent, it ended up being white. If you are experiencing that issue, you just go to layer, transparency, and then add alpha channel. If that option's not available to you, that means it's already applied and you don't need to worry about it. So what I'm gonna do is click on my image and First thing that I want to do is make a copy of it, and I'm going to let that copy just kind of hang out on my layer palette. So to make a copy, I go down here, and there's we've used this option before, which is to create a new layer, but instead what we're going to do is create a duplicate layer of the one that I have selected. So I'll click that, and there we go. I have two layers that are the exact same. Now what I'll do is click on this top one, and it might be helpful for me to uh, name it. So I'll double click here and what I'm going to do is say um, blank frame and I don't know why I didn't save that. There we go. Blank frame layer. And what I'm going to do is select with my free select tool, the little lasso, I'm going to select my area within my frame and I'm going to delete it and of course on my Mac I have to go select or I'm sorry edit and clear but on your computer it should let you do just the, the delete button so right now it looks like I didn't do anything but if you see over here in my layer palette it shows it's transparent but because my background layer is behind it it looks like nothing's going on so don't let that fool you I did actually delete that area so um, I'm going to toggle so just so you can see. The next thing that I want you to do is make a copy of this blank frame layer. So now I have this thing where it's already cut out. That's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and make a duplicate copy of it. So now I have a frame inside a frame. And what I can do is start to scale the one underneath it. So now I have this image here. So what I'm using right now is this rotate tool. If I click that, I can rotate it to kind of match that frame. If I need to, I can scale it slightly and make sure it fits in there nicely. So there I have a frame within a frame. And I'm sure you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this. So now I can click on that copy, um, the smaller one that I just made, and I can make a duplicate. So now I have one that's exactly the same. It's in the third one of my pile. Make sure that you're kind of working from top to bottom, because let's, let's say that I switch this one down, it's going to mess up the whole thing. So I have to make sure that I'm kind of working from the top of my pile down. So now I'm in my third pile. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm clicked on it and then select it to, or I mean, uh, use my scale tool. I'm going to scale it down, scale. You can see it's behind my other one, which is good. Grab my move tool, move it, scale it. Making another duplicate. 
Go and make sure I'm on the fourth layer. Select it, scale it down, move it. Duplicate it. As you're getting smaller and smaller, it becomes less of an issue like how perfect you get it because obviously to the viewer, they're not gonna be able to see those little details unless they open it up on their computer and zoom way, way in. So. Okay, now if I want to, I can keep going. You guys could really be pretty insane about this and keep going until you get down to some ridiculous pixels that it's hard to even see. Um, what you could do now though, for fun, let's say I zoom back to the image and window. Let's say that I want my final background to show up in there. So what I'll do is select on my final background and maybe I'll just make all of these. <laughs> little and or disappear and then I'll make this one super little and I'll move it needs to be somewhere in there okay so now I can see Kind of in the distance, there I am, if I wanted to play around with that. Or you could have it continue to go and just into infinity. Oops, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. There we go. Trying to rotate this one. Rotate. So here I'm kind of getting it more properly. There we go. All right. I'll see what this looks like when I zoom out. All right. So there I have my infinity photograph. And all I needed to do was kind of use that transparency and sort of rotate scale and fit it into each little window. Um, that'll kind of lead us into a similar concept, which is called layer masking. For this really simple concept, um, we didn't need a layer mask. Uh, the next assignment, I'll show you what that's all about, and some of you will really, really enjoy that. So anyway, have fun. Be creative.